Welcome to this episode of The Path to Performance Excellence with mental performance coach, Tommy Richardson. A continuation of our discussion of influence that we have been doing some uh, work with in the last few sessions will be uh, a time of that I like spent with you this morning talking about another step. Now we talked uh, how important influence was, convince, convincing someone, persuading someone, selling someone, whether that be a service, an idea, a prospect, or whatever it might be, we are involved in that and we need to be strong in at least four areas that we are, are dealt with. The first one is no trust. And we talked about that a little bit in depth in a previous video. And we're developing that commonality, that intention, that being the proper way to approach. I want to take you to the second one uh, that we want to talk about. Now, some of this comes from, from being a facilitator with Wilson Learning and doing a lot of uh, sales training across the country uh, with their program called Consultative Sales. So I want to give them credit for this, but I find it fits any kind of sales in any kind of a situation, whether it's a product, service, or ideas. Let me take you to the, there are four no's. The first one is, is no trust. Second is no need, need, no need. We, we've built a relationship, but they don't feel like they like our idea, have a need for our idea, a need for our product, a need for our service, whatever it is we're trying to influence toward, they say, I have no need for that, which is a very interesting approach, and they may not have a need, but here is where the real uh, challenge for us in this influencing mode is, that we dig deep to determine if there is a need or not in this situation. Now, the first thing that we want to do is make sure that we have approached that person, that company, that individual we're trying to influence with the proper approach, which is not solutions, but also finding out what their needs are. So we come in on a need rates, and a lot of times we will tell folks, uh, you know, we won't even talk about how to satisfy until I know exactly what your needs are. And the key there, we have to ask multiple questions. We call them powerful questions in our process about their operation, their ideas, to find out exactly where they stand before we ever start talking about solutions. And doing hundreds and I guess even up to a thousand of workshops and seminars in my past, I have found a lot of times people in the sales field try to jump to the solution too quick without determining what the needs are of their client, their customer, their person that they're working with. So it's a really an area of asking the powerful questions, digging deep to find out if there is a need there. And sometimes we have to say, hey, there is a need, but I'm not sure I have a solution to that and help them to move forward is finding someone who can take care of their needs. So that's an in-depth area with I hope I've just stimulated your thinking this morning about the second no, no need, and how we must ask the powerful question to make sure we dig deep enough to find out what the true need really is. Follow us again. We're continuing this process of creating influence important to all of us in our leadership and our roles that we become better and peak performers in that area. Follow me on coachtom.net and the videos that we're doing are available for you to take a look at and keep up with us in the process. Thank you for watching this episode of The Path to Performance Excellence with Tommy Richardson. For more great information, visit Tommy's website at coachtom.net. Also browse the other shows found right here at Indie Biz TV Shows.